Hello my dear students. My name is Samir Multani and I am your new English language teacher for the academic year 2021 and 22. First of all, I would like to welcome you all in this new academic year 2021 and 22. Hope all of you are keeping safe and healthy at your home. Now let me tell you in brief about myself. As I told you, my name is Samir Multani. I have completed my master's degree in English language and from last three years I am teaching English at one of the finest institutions in Vijaypur, St. Joseph's English Medium School and High School. And once again, I welcome you all. Dear all, we need to change and adapt to the upcoming challenges so that we move on to reach our goals. We can face overcome challenges together without the most care and the patience. The invisible virus has pushed us back to stay at home. Due to this pandemic situation, we are forced to follow the learning system as a online classes. So children, let me tell you about our subject. Ninth first language, English. English is a very fine and fantastic language to learn. We can learn English through the various activities. For this academic year, we are having 23 chapters to study. Amongst of 23 chapters, we have 10 lessons and 10 poems and 3 lessons from the supplementary reading including grammar. From this half of the portion means 10 lessons and 10 poems and 2 supplementary lessons for the first term and remaining portion will be for the second term. So children let me introduce the lessons and the poem in brief which we are going to study in this academic year. So the first lesson which we are having the best advice I ever had which is written by Mrs. Vijayalakshmi Pandit. So what special thing which we are having about this lesson means we are going to know about the two different eras. It means the pre-independent era and the post-independent era. So which kind of a judicial system we were having in India and how our freedom fighters and the great personalities overcame to their problems and they solve. Next poem which we are having, the grass is really like me. In this poem, we are going to study about the relation between the women and a grass. How the writer ironically shown the relation between the grass or a blade of a grass and the women. So writer compared here a blade of a grass or a piece of a grass with the life of a woman from the childhood to the old age of a woman and from sapling to the big grass plant. This is what writer try to tell us that which kind of a stages and which kind of a various portions used to come in our life. Next lesson which we are having that second lesson Mauritius. Mauritius lesson it's having a wonderful journey of a life. It means how a writer went for the right. The writer RK Lakshman has written this lesson. So how he went for a ride to a Mauritius and how he discovered the place Mauritius and what unique things he has found in Mauritius. 
we have discussed everything in this lesson mauritius next poem what we are having that is africa africa is one of the beautifulest poem that we are having in our syllabus which is written by david diop so david diop is one of the african poet and writer who don't know anything about africa but later he came to know about africa by listening the songs of his grandmother it means originally the writer david diop is from africa but he migrated from the africa to other place but when he was staying there along with his grandmother and when his grandmother was singing a song uh, related africa so at that time he came to know about the africa the problems of african people how they suffered and how finally the africa has been get freedom from the clutches of the european people next lesson which we are going to study uh, that is a uh, collectors collectors is also one of the beautiful lessons so when we listen the name the collectors the collectors is nothing but a collecting the things from the different different planets it is kind of a movie type of a picture where the aliens were coming or where the aliens were moving from the one space or one place to another place or the different different areas next lesson which we are having that is a portrait of a lady a portrait of lady this is one of the good lessons that a portrait of lady shows us the respect the care what pampering we get from the elders how our elders used to protect us the elders always used to protect maybe elder it seems your grandfather your grandmother so whenever the a small child takes a birth in our family so it has been more care has been taken by the grandparents so this kind of a things we will study in the lesson the portrait of the lady next poem what we are having the village school master so as you children know that studying in city school and studying in village school there we are seeing a huge differences because what kind of a facilities we can get in a cities we cannot get into the villages so the writer oliver goldsmith is the only literate person in that village who used to talk to his students by telling them about his experience that when he was a student and what he learned from his teacher which kind of a personality that oliver goldsmith's teacher was having how they were coming to know about whether the teacher is in angry mood or whether the teacher was in happy mood so these kind of a things the mood of a teacher the teaching style and the way of a teaching we can study from the poem the village school master so next poem what we are having that is a tiger so children putting the poem tiger in your syllabus there is a reason maybe you people will know that or you came to know about the population of the tigers is becoming very uh, less in upcoming days because hunting is becoming more and the people who hunts they think that that hunting the tiger it's a mark of a bravery for showing their bravery they were hunting to the animals but hunting the animals it's kind of a illegal action it's a illegal action done by the people so by telling the importance of the tiger by showing the importance of the tiger why we should save the tiger and what is happening with the dead bodies of a tigers and what people are doing after the hunt of a tiger this is what in brief the writer have told us in this poem the next lesson which we are going to study that is a question of space 
so when we listen the title a question of space so it doesn't mean that in this lesson we are going to study of the space sky is a satellite no this space the writer is talking about the freedom this space writer is talking about the comfort in this space writer is talking about the free space what we want in our life always every child demand that the parent shouldn't scold him the parent should give him little bit of a space in their life let them take their decisions on their own so this kind of element we can see in this lesson so next poem what we are having that is a pencil story in this poem the writer addressing to the manufacturers of the pencil and the users of a pencil the how the people are utilizing the pencil so pencil is one of the writing material which is very cheap in a cost in 5 rupees or in a 10 rupees we can buy a best pencil but how we use it and after using how we sharpen it its length is started decreasing so when the length of a pencils became decrease we will not give any kind of importance to that pencil sometimes we used to throw anywhere sometimes we used to beat somebody with the pencil or sometimes whatever we can do with the pencils kind of a naughty things we do with the pencil for this telling the how important the pencil is for us people writer is describing the things in this poem so next lesson so children these were the 10 lessons and the 10 poems about which i have just given you a brief introduction next we will see the three lessons which we are having for the supplementary reading the first lesson which we are having for the supplementary reading that is the goats and the stars the goats and the stars so what writer tries to tell us with the help of or by taking the names of a goats and tries we will discuss later next one earthquake so you all are are very familiar with the word earthquake and you know the meaning of earthquake also what happens when the earthquake comes that also you know very well next one is balai so balai it's it's a name of a chapter also and it is the character in this lesson also it's a name of a chapter also and it is the character of that lesson also it is a central character we can say the lesson what we are having balai this is all around the balai itself so these were the three supplementary reading lessons which we are having in our syllabus and apart from this we are having a grammar also so we'll discuss about it in our next class so till then stay at home stay safe and don't miss any kind of a classes which we are going to start soon if you miss the classes then it is going to be a big loss for you because in this time of a pandemic it is one of the best opportunity for us people to learn online if we miss the classes then we are the people who are going to be the responsible for our loss till then stay at home and stay safe and be healthy thank you